Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I am so glad right now. Like, two days ago, I made the Jonja Ito video, 63 views in 7 days, 61 views in 48 hours. And it became either my second or third most successful video in the last 90 days. And I feel, because of that, that I would like to uh, try to make a new thing. Instead of one, at least one every seven days, I'll try to make one on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'm also going to make some other videos, including like stuff involving horror, stuff involving crossover scenarios, and I'll be using ClipChamp and such to help give you guys visuals and such. So thank you everyone for that big boost. I just hope that we can have more of that stuff more often, if that makes any sense. For this video, I'm going to introduce three characters. Just so you guys know, you know how it is. Here's the first one. Euphemia. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 6 feet 2 inches to vast. Weight, 278 pounds to vast. Status, hero and queen of the Milky Way. Base, central black hole, Milky Way. Intelligence, 4.5 brains. Behavior, witty, protective, and curious. She enjoys her own destiny. Lethality, usually by accident. Weaknesses, she isn't always aware of her surroundings. Powers, she has semi-cosmic power, teleportation, a high IQ, and high willpower. She could also grow to the size of Jupiter. Eyes olive green, hair deep purple, and shoulder length. Origin. One time, Goddess had found a group of planetesimals and decided to create something out of them. Using her powers, she created two baby girls that she since named Euphemia and Luba. Eventually, Goddess and the Alpha Gods chose to make the baby supreme rulers of the Milky Way and Alpha Galaxies. After a while, the two sisters found that the def default Earth was getting invaded by Jormund Gondor, and the Alpha Earth was getting intact by getting attacked by the vengeful Apocalypta. After some fighting, Euphemia and Luma had finally defeated the two planetary threats. Since then, Euphemia and Luma would normally travel across their two galaxies just to help out those in need. Costume? She dresses in formal space dresses. Team Solitary with Luma and other heroes. Ordinal Inspiration? Space Queens. Here's the next character. Chibat. Real name? Vivian Torrance. Height? 5 feet 7 inches to 7 feet 9 inches. Weight? 150 pounds to 487 pounds. Status, villain turned hero and queen of the bats. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, sneaky, seductive, and somewhat bloodthirsty. She'll do all that it takes to cure her unrelenting thirst. Lethality, extremely lethal, especially when threatened or surprised. Weaknesses, silver objects, along with her thirst. Powers. She has great strength, great speed, sharp claws and teeth, the urge to drink blood, can make a deafening shriek, acute senses, night vision, and possesses a large pair of wings that allow flight. Bat wings, just so you know. Eyes deep red, hair deep brown, and shoulder length. Origin. Vivian Torrance was once an explorer who made the mistake of entering an African tomb that belonged to the witch doctor Voodoo. When she learned that there was a trespasser in her lair, Voodoo condemned Vivian into spending the rest of her life being a blind woman by day and a bat hybrid by night. Being renamed to She-Bat, Vivian was making global chaos until she was defeated by the witch Whitney and her lover Illusion, who helped her not to give in to her thirst. After that, Pym granted She-Bat with her own ring of nourishment, curing her feral bloodlust whenever she wished to stay in control. Costume. 
By day, she normally dresses in semi-formal wear, and at night, she normally wears a violet latex leotard. Themes. Solitary or with other heroes. Ordinal inspiration. DC's Man Bat. Here's the last character, just so you know. Judith. Real name? None. Height? 200 feet. Weight? 7,000 tons. Status? Hero and Servant of Goddess. Base? Ascolympius Space. Intelligence? Three and a half brains. Behavior? Witty and confident. She'd do anything to protect the innocents. Lethality. Highly dangerous, but usually when angered. Weaknesses. Cliffhangers and cosmic forces. Powers. She has great size and strength, semi-cosmic powers, is a good guesser, and possesses large white bird wings that enable flight. She also wields a silver-coated Excalibur and a series of holy hand grenades with blasts loud enough to be heard outside a galaxy. Eyes, sky blue, hair golden, and chin length. Origin. During the medieval times of the Alpha Earth, Judith was a noble woman who possessed uncanny warrior skills. In her last battle, however, Judith was struck by an arrow onto the left side of her neck, killing her in the process. Luckily, her soul was taken to Ascolympius, where Goddess told Judith that she's proud of her dedication and granted her into becoming an angelic warrior, along with becoming a loyal servant to her. One time, Judith learned that a newly planetary Olga was trying to detonate a quantumite bomb to mutate the cosmos, and with help from Captain Space, Judith had finally defeated Olga and prevented her from detonating the bomb. Nowadays, Judith would spend time practicing on her combat skills to become a more formidable warrior than before, just in case. Costume. She dresses in a white fabric uniform. Teams. Solitary with the Alpha Gods or other heroes. Or to inspiration, angels. Well, I hope you guys are impressed with those three characters. I still like to know what is it about Queen Titana, Queen Demana, and Spydra that you guys um, weren't as interested in? Like, I want to interest you guys, but I don't want to force you guys into complimentary stuff. I want you guys to be honest. Like, is there anything about that video that seemed inadequate? And if so, you could just tell me at some point, and I'll try to improve through the passing of time. Hope you guys are fine with what I've got so far. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And uh, hope you guys have a fine rest of the year, and a fine Christmas and such. And until next time, in transmission.